Let's do another stoichiometry problem, this time with a single replacement reaction. Like before, if you want to pause the video and work the problem out yourself, you can then check your answers with mine. Here's the setup. I put 25 grams of magnesium and I place it in enough hydrochloric acid to complete the reaction. I would like to know the mass of hydrogen gas produced, the amount of magnesium chloride produced, and what amount of hydrochloric acid was consumed in the reaction. So magnesium is simply Mg, and we're going to mix it with hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is the binary acid with chlorine, so that's simply HCl. I have a single replacement reaction. The magnesium is going to kick out the hydrogen. So I'm going to make elemental hydrogen. Now that's a diatomic, so it's got to be H2. And then I'm going to make magnesium chloride. Magnesium as a compound forms a plus 2 charge. Chlorine forms a minus 1 charge. So magnesium chloride is MgCl. Two. To balance that, I'm going to need two hydrogens and two chlorines on the reactant side. So I put a two there. Now we're balanced. Step one. Step two, we've got to convert our 25 grams of magnesium into moles. 25 grams of magnesium from the periodic table. The molar mass of magnesium is 24.305 grams. When I convert my amount of magnesium to moles, I get 1.03 moles of magnesium. Okay, now I can start predicting products. The first product that's asked for is the mass of hydrogen gas. I have 1.03 moles of magnesium and if I look at my balanced equation my ratio between the hydrogen and the magnesium is a one-to-one -one ratio. There's one H2 for every one magnesium. I can do that math. That means there's 1.03 moles of hydrogen gas produced. So that's step three, using the ratios from the equation to predict the moles of product. Now I've got to convert that to grams. I have 1.03 moles of hydrogen gas. Remember, hydrogen's diatomic, so I have to take the molar mass of hydrogen, 1.0079, and multiply it by two. So there are 2.0158 grams for every one mole of hydrogen gas. So that means I have 2.07 grams of hydrogen gas when I'm done. Next, the question is asking for the mass of magnesium chloride. Well, again, I go back to my moles. I have 1.03 moles of magnesium. And again, I've got a nice one-to-one -one ratio. There is one magnesium chloride for every one magnesium. So that means I have 1.03 moles of magnesium chloride as well. I love one-to-one -one ratios. It's asking for mass. So I'm going to take my 1.03 moles of magnesium chloride and multiply it by the molar mass, which is 95.211 grams for every one mole of magnesium chloride. So I get 98.1 grams of magnesium chloride. All right, now I'm just about done. I want to know the mass of hydrochloric acid, and I know the mass of three of my four things. I know that I started with 25 grams of magnesium. I know that I made 2.07 grams of hydrogen. And I know that I made 98.1 grams of magnesium chloride. So that means the total mass of my products is just over 100 grams. It's 100.17 grams. That means the mass of my reactants should be just over 100 grams. So if I take the mass of my magnesium and subtract it from the mass of my products, I'm going to get I'm going to get 75.17 grams of HCl. Now, as I'm subtracting, I need to kind of keep track of decimal places. So the better answer would be 75.2 grams of HCl. 